fourth position. Lachlan Patton, Hugo Garraway in the shell. Coloured go-kart. All right, they'll bring it around. The Castrol sweeper for heat four of KA3. Senior. Lights are red. And we are racing. Very good start from the outside. All goes down the inside. Gets chopped off by Salvatore. They go down the inside. It's Elliston again. This hangs on tough. Looks like they all got through first corner. They learned something after heat two yesterday. So it's Elliston. Salvatore tried to shuck it up the inside. Elliston shuts the door. They know they've got to get past Elliston early or he is going to be gone. So let's see what happens. They've come down through the yeses. Elliston said, please don't pass me. But I'll bet you Salvatore is just going to have a go straight away. But Elliston covers the corner. Salvatore finally has a crack. First time he's been passed all weekend. That's what they want. They want to hold him up and not let him get away. They might have changed a few things on the Empire car throughout the weekend. But it's Car Republic. One, two, three, four, five. Then it's the first arrow. Will Thompson's making a pass down on Hugo Garraway into turn one. He was your KA3 Junior National Champion last year. Fastest on. Ellison's got back past Hunter Salvatore on screen. Drives a bit of a different line through turn number four there. Very narrow. So it is bunched up. There's a freight train for 15. It's like the whole field's in one big group. This is the closest it's been all weekend in KA3 Senior. Salvatore wants to get past, but Elliston... Doesn't want to let this go. He's driving super, super tight, holding everyone up. Let's see what happens. It looks like he's getting a bit nervous out in front, having a few looks around. He just needs to look forward and go. We got 10 laps on the board. Salvatore goes down the inside. Gets it done. They're all bunched up. You got Amos or Motel Bano Thompson in that top five group. This is very, very close out there. Fastest on track is James Snaith all the way down in 17th, who's done a 45-3. So everything's coming up to speed at the moment. Everything's coming up to temperature. The track's cleaning off. Elliston right on the bumper of Salvatore. Too far back to make a pass. It looked like Amos Orr was going to have a shot. Didn't get it done. As we come on to the Castrol sweeper. Look at that massive group. There's about 15 carts all in a row. Salvatore's got a bit of a gap, just went purple, but then Hugo Garo, then it's Nazar, first one into the 44s with a 44.95. Benito Motelbano, everyone's done their fastest lap of the race. So we're still going, what are your thoughts so far, Matt? I was going to say, keep an eye on Benito Montalbano. Of all those in that top group, Benito is the one with the most experience at this level. However, I looked up and uh, Thompson had got through on him. Meantime, Salvatore under all sorts of pressure from Elliston here. Amos Orr sitting there in third position. He's just waiting to pounce aboard that pro karting machine. He's come through the top level of juniors. He's really shot up over the last year or so since we last saw him. He goes through the corner in third spot there and he's right on the tail. Oh, that's Garraway's gone. He was looking so good as well was Hugo Garraway and that machine has come to grief on its way toward the Castro corner and he is sitting there. He's very, very frustrated. Got a red and... Uh, sorry, a meatball flag out for the 35. And now we've got a new race leader in Ellison. He goes up the inside of Salvatore, or do we? Because Salvatore, oh no, he's been hung out to dry. He's going, gone back to third. No, he's got the inside line going to the Castro corner. Thompson, good move from Thompson. He follows Salvatore too. And that leaves Amos Orr on the outside looking in. Benito Montalbano goes through. And so does the 77 of Romeo Nazra. We haven't seen the best of Nazra this weekend, but he's now up another spot as they go down through turn number two. Elliston's had enough of this. He's decided in the Cart Republic that he wants to try and pull away for TD Racing here. But Salvatore wanted to go with him. And they work their way down through the Maxis. S is there towards LeConte. Thompson, he's starting to build up in the arrow cart out of Shepparton in third spot. But here comes Montalbano, the fluorescent Andrew Starkey Motorsport, number 12 through the left hander at Castro. They're going on to the SP Tools front straight away. Down across the line, we are six laps in, we're halfway home. And Salvatore, 
Although it looks like he's dropping backwards there from Elliston. It's just done the quickest lap of the race. So running through the order for you. It is Elliston followed by Salvatore, then Thompson who's on a charge. Montalbano, Nasra, then Orr. Findlay, then McNally, followed by Platten, Munro, Connell outside the 10, then Robinson up to 12th. That's the best he's been going all weekend. Chislowski, Smith, Snaith, I should say, Rhodes. Then it is Pat Ching, Harris, Alexopoulos, Yakapetti, Thompson, Chen, and Barrington with Garraway off to the side of the racetrack, working their way back onto the star finish straight. Your top two have got a slight gap there. So Ellison, he's done a new quickest lap. I need to have Amos or go, hey, I've dropped back a few spots, but I'm just going to do a 44-335, and I'm the quickest out there. But it's Ellison who leads by nearly four tenths. Yeah, everyone's just done their fastest lap in the top ten as well, so they're all gone as best they've their best lap so far this one. So it's coming on and coming on. So they've got these set up ready for the final. But Ellison just got that little gap. What you got to do when you're in a big freight train is try and stay at the front. Because what you saw with Amos Orr, he nearly it was in second position, made one little mistake, and he's down in six spots. So there's nothing in this top six. It's all a game of chess at the front. It's all happening about the back of the pack, but we should be watching at the front. And it's Ellison. Last time around, it was three tenths. He's got that out to four. He's just gone purple with a 44-1. So anyone in the other group that's watching, if you're racing Joshy Ellison, you just want to get ahead of him and try and hold him up because he has got the outright speed in this class. So I reckon in the final you might see a few moves early to try and slow down Joshy Ellison because if he gets out in front, you're going to see what's happening like right now. He's just going to eke away like he has done all weekend. They got that thing tuned up perfectly down at TD Racing. Brand new Kart Republic for Joshy Elliston. Same as Hunter Salvatore, he only switched over a few weeks ago. Then you've got the national champ for juniors, Will Thompson. He's actually a state title holder in this class as well. That's that blue number plate. He looks pretty quick as well. So let's see what he did last time around. There you go. He's done a 44-1 and gone purple with the fastest lap of the race. You can just see he was catching up to the rear of Hunter Salvatore last time around. Elliston dropped off a tenth end, so he's made a mistake somewhere. We've still got three laps to go. And the top four all did their best lap of the race as well. Except for Joshy Elliston, so the top five. So they're hunting down the local boy. But then it looks like it's just ebbing and flowing at the moment. But Elliston's... Either Salvatore slowed down a bit this lap or Elliston's got quick. Either one, that's what's happened. Because the gap looks like it's got bigger. It was three and a half tenths last time around. It looks massive now. He's just gone purple with a 44-1. Now it's out to half a second. So he's just put the foot down that last lap and just said, see you later. We've got two laps remaining. Let's go through the field. We've got Elliston, Salvatore, Thompson, Motel, Bano, Nazza, or McNally. Frankie McNally, that's a big move. He's been not really up the front all weekend, but moving up the last few heats to six and a seventh, I think. Finlay, Beck, Connell, Munro, Patton, Smith, Chizowski, Robinson, Rhodes, Harris, Alexopoulos is up to 17. Patching, Thompson, Yakapetti, Chen, and we have Barrington and Hugo Garraway out of this one. But the battle for seconds heating up. Thompson is looking racy in that Arrow X6.2. He is literally in a Fernando Alonso and Cart Republic sandwich up at the front. He's the only different card up there. The next different car we have is an Energy down in 7th. So you've either got to have a Cart Republic or an Arrow. Thompson had a look up the inside into turn 4. Didn't get it done. Now he's going to get swamped. The 2x2, two two, I think Motel Bano got through. No, no Motel Bano actually got uh, passed by Romeo and Azra there. We're on the way home. Last lap here, Elliston has structured this one beautifully. He was under attack early from Hunter Salvatore. However, he's got to the lead and said, forget about it, I'm out of here. I want the big trophy here today for TD Racing. Out of the final corner, checkered flag, and he gets it done. Second place, Salvatore just hangs on over Will Thompson and Nasra with that last lap move on Benito Montalbano comes home in fourth. Then it's Orr, McNally home in seventh. That's